Welcome students. In this video of inorganic chemistry, we shall be learning about chemical bonding. To begin with, let us study what is a covalent bond. The bond formed between the two atoms by mutual sharing of electrons between them so as to complete their octet or duplet in case of elements having only one shell is called covalent bond. Covalent means sharing the valence electrons. So basically the bond that is formed by the sharing of valence electrons is a covalent bond. The type of attraction between the atoms is the intermolecular attraction. Generally covalent bonding occurs between nonmetals. Now let us study what occurs in covalent bonding. Let us see the figure. There are two atoms shown atom A and atom B. The nucleus of atom A is attracted to electron of atom B. This is shown by blue arrows and vice versa. The nucleus of atom A and atom B repel each other and the electrons of atom A and atom B also repel each other. This is shown by red arrows. The distance between two atoms is such that attraction and repulsion forces are balanced. And this is the point of maximum stability. Or we can say that this is the point of covalent bond formation. Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, they occur in nature as diatomic because they are more stable than single atoms. Now let us study what is a single covalent bond. When a single electron is shared by each atom, a single covalent bond is formed. Now let us examine the formation of hydrogen molecule. In this case, two hydrogen atoms combine to produce a hydrogen molecule. Each hydrogen atom is short of one electron to attain stable electronic configuration. Hydrogen has one electron in the valence shell. In order to have the duplet structure, it needs one more electron. So it shares one electron with the other hydrogen atom. So both the hydrogen atoms share one electron each. Each hydrogen atom contributes one electron to form a common shared pair. By doing so, both of them complete their duplets and attain stable electronic configuration. See the figure. There are three ways A, B and C showing the formation of hydrogen molecule. The single bond between two hydrogen atoms shows that there are two electrons shared between the two hydrogen atoms. Let us study double covalent bond. When two electrons are shared by each atom, a double covalent bond is formed. 
Now let us examine the formation of oxygen molecule. In this case, two oxygen atoms combine to produce a oxygen molecule. Now each oxygen atom has six valence electrons. Each atom is short of two electrons to attain stable electronic configuration. It combines with another oxygen atom to form an oxygen molecule. Both the oxygen atoms are short of two electrons. So they share two electrons and now both the oxygen atoms have the octet structure. So each oxygen atom is sharing two electrons with the other oxygen atom. In this case, there are four electrons shared between the two oxygen atoms. In order to represent these four electrons, we make a double covalent bond that is O double bond O. Let us study triple covalent bond. When three electrons are shared by each atom, a triple covalent bond is formed. Let us take the example of formation of nitrogen molecule. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. So in order to complete the octet, it needs three more electrons. So it combines with another nitrogen atom to form a nitrogen molecule. Both the nitrogen atoms are short of three electrons so they share three electrons each and by sharing three electrons each, each nitrogen atom completes the octet structure. In this case, there are six electrons shared between the two nitrogen atoms. In order to represent these six electrons, we make a triple covalent bond that is N triple bond N. So depending on the number of electrons being shared between the two atoms, we can show the number of covalent bonds. Let us study properties of covalent compounds. Physical state. Unlike ionic compounds, which generally exist as solids, the covalent compounds exist in all the three states, solid, liquid and gas. The crystal structure. The crystal structure of covalent compounds differs from that of ionic compounds. They usually consist of molecules rather than ions. The melting point and boiling point of covalent compounds are low because the molecules in covalent compounds are held together less rigidly that is by weak van der Waals forces. Solubility. We know that like dissolves like. Covalent compounds are generally soluble in organic solvents but insoluble in water and other polar solvents. Electrical conductivity Since there are no free ions in covalent compounds to conduct electricity, they are bad conductors of electricity. Thermal conductivity They are bad conductors of heat. Chemical reactivity since these compounds are molecular in nature and are not ionic, their reactions are molecular and proceed at a much slower rate than those of ionic compounds. 
they are highly volatile isomerism covalent bonds are rigid and directional so covalent compounds show structural and stereoisomerism thank you